Test one, two, test one, two. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Just double checking. Um, did a different setting tonight to try to get people notified early uh, of the actual stream starting. I want to make sure it's actually coming through loud and clear. Please let me know in the chat. All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so YouTube have, has definitely switched it up on me on how you actually um, set up and publish a live stream from on their new like beta, uh, the, the new YouTube interface. Let me adjust this camera a little bit. There we go. All right. So um, yeah. Okay. You have like they have checks and balances now, I guess. So people don't like accidentally go live and they don't want, you know, people don't want to be live and see something you're not supposed to see but anyway welcome guys uh, i want to give a big shout out to the people that were in here early uh crypto mikhail colin bitcoin jake batman mr nub uh sf visuals miro slaw oh mr mike daniel eve deadwood 11 we had a lot of early birds today 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 joe ralston and yeah yeah sound great and look good i also changed my um my uh, audio settings I have a new suppression filter and a new noise gate. So uh, there shouldn't be any like like fan noise in the background because my fan's like blaring in the background, which you guys shouldn't be able to hear that. And also my voice shouldn't be coming through as harsh. I know my voice is still terrible, but you know, I got to deal with, with what uh, God gave me. So anyway, all right. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, I'm back Monday through Thursday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you don't know, if you're just tuning in, if you haven't seen my stuff, I am back Monday through Thursday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Got to drill that time slot into your head because people are like, when are you coming back? And I'm like, I've been I've been back now like for a whole week. So we're going to keep on rolling with that. Um, Bitcoin did a lot of crazy stuff over the weekend. It like went up and then went down and actually it settled off somewhere pretty good. But let's go over some crypto news. Uh, and this one actually took me by surprise. I kind of got a little bit of an appointment, or uh, not appointment, but an opinion on it. I want to know your guys' opinion too. And let me flip over here. Boom. Okay. So from on Cointelegraph, the Binance CEO suggests crypto exchanges are safer than keeping one's keys. And what that means, uh, if you're new to crypto guys, is um, I, I know like 99% of you are not new. Oh, what's up, Batman and Foo Fighter? Um, and Mr. Nick. 478 welcome to the live chat um, your private keys are basically like the password to your bitcoins or to your crypto in general that's how you can uh, keep it secure and also access it later on um, but uh, the Binance CEO which if you don't know Binance is a huge huge exchange um, is suggesting that it's safer to keep your crypto there and now let, let's let's see why he says so so Mr. Zhao, uh, I don't know if I'm saying that right, the co-founder and CEO of cryptocurrency exchange Binance suggested that for the most, keeping crypto assets on the exchange is safer than keeping the keys themselves. Zhao, Zhao, Zhao gave his comments in a tweet on January 19th after famous crypto skeptic and gold bug Peter Schiff complained that he lost access to his Bitcoin account invoking the phrase Safu a slang term in cryptocurrency for safe, Zhao said. Uh, many hardcore crypto organizations advocate storing your own keys, but the truth is today most people are not able to secure a key even from themselves. You know, they lose it. Uh, a trusted centralized exchange, exchange is safer, safu, safer, uh, for most people. The numbers speak for themselves, need to work on wallets. I, actually, a lot of the guys... Um, a lot of the guys, uh, we, we talk about this in, in uh, the, the Discord all the time, is so much Bitcoin and so many crypto coins in general have, have had the keys lost throughout the years, but I still recommend you secure your own stuff. Um, yeah, it may be safer to keep your, your, your cash or your money in a bank, so to speak. That's a good you know analogy, but there's nothing like having your cash in your hand. Like the only way somebody is gonna steal this from me is they if they literally take it from me, like this dollar bill. So if I have the private keys for my Bitcoin, the only way 
somebody's going to take those keys from me is if they literally take them from me. Um, now, uh, crypto is not backed by anything. So if I have my keys on an exchange or my crypto on an exchange and, they get, and the exchange gets hacked and it's, it's gone, it's gone. Like it, it can be gone without me doing anything wrong. Um, so yeah, um, is it safer for people who, you know, actually can keep up with and manage and uh, treat their keys accordingly? I don't believe so. I don't, I don't ever advocate that. Um, I see where he's talking about. It may be safer for the masses. Um, I mean, we, you know, we got people using stuff like Coinbase. I use Coinbase, especially for, you know, sending and trading uh, and not holding large sums. Uh, it works great. Um, but I, st I, hey Jenny, my dog is on the floor making noises. Um, Batman says lava bit comes to mind. Bad idea. Oh, what is lava bit? Is that one of the ones, um, that got hacked or something? Deadwood 11 says until they get hacked. I'm absolutely, I mean, I know bit Binance has done some good things in the past, but, uh, it doesn't mean that, you know, they're not immune to anything happening. Um, yeah, if you want to read this article for yourself, I'll go ahead and put it in the live chat. I really don't have to go any further, though. Um, I see the point he's trying to make. And if you're educated about it, which you should be, if you're going to invest serious amounts of money into something, you know, definitely self-educate. Uh, this isn't financial advice, blah, 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 all those things. Take that into consideration. But know what you got. You got to know what you got. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. All right. So, um. Deadwood11 said, stick them up and hand over the cash. Yeah. Uh, he also said, doesn't that just give Binance larger holdings, therefore increasing their net worth when they can claim our addresses as their capital? I guess they could, essentially, yeah. What was the exchange that got hacked last year? I think that was Cryptopia, right? Was that Cryptopia? Carl Poncho, how to mine Bitcoins. Come on, man. Um, thank you, Batman. Appreciate that. Uh, Carl Poncho, you only have to ask it one time, uh, and we can we can address that at the end of the live stream. Um, for right now, let's go through the rest of the stro the rest of the show, and um, yeah. So uh, on crypto news, I, I don't suggest it, but I, I understand where he's coming from. Now let's take a look at the graphics cards that I have up and running, and I do uh, ap apologize that I don't have more up and going at the moment, guys. I told you I would, but I went out of town for a bachelor party for my cousin. Um, he's about to get married this coming weekend, so uh, I got to get some stuff uh, hot on the press. So mostly, I need to get my 2060s up and running. I got two of them, um, so I might actually do that tomorrow. Get those 2060s moving. Um, but for right now, it looks like the GTX 1660s. Can y'all read that? Do I need to make it a little bigger? Let's see here. 200%. Is that too big? Okay. So the 1660s are went down 3.3 percent they're mining 29 cents a day per card on etc direct i'm mining through ethermine uh, at around 19 mega hash per card give or take and that's profiting right at eight cents a day after power if i was selling and paying for power on a day-to-day -day basis but i'm not um, i actually am mining and holding so for me it's a little different that's just uh to show you guys in theory of the situation let me um slide this over sorry about that can't really see it Profit after power. Boom. Oh. Let's undo that one. Okay. I think we're good. I didn't mess it up. Uh, done one too many said, yo, what's up? Welcome to the live chat. Yes, Cryptopia got hacked last year. Diamond X. Don't be sorry if you're living your life. No problem, man. I just feel bad not having my data points up because I like data and I like showing off data. And that's the heck that's part of the show. Um, and I hate having graphics cards sit, which I've actually, I, I do at the moment. So, um, I mean, actually I have two, two 1060s right here beside me that I need to get downstairs on the rig. Um, but yeah, what's up Sun Yang Skyhawk, Robert Foo Fighter, my 1660 Ti gets 30 mega hash on ETC. If you need a number, um, I appreciate it. I don't have any TIs at the moment, but, um, good, good idea for the number. Diamond X, I guess your 1050 Ti's are turned off. I need to take my 1050 Ti's off of this list because I don't have any more of them. And I don't recommend um, anything under a 1066 gigabyte card for mining currently. Um, oh, what's up, Mike? 2080 Ti fund. Woo! 
in the house. Thank you for that $10, bro. Uh, much appreciated. The Deadwood 11, no AMD cards on the game. Okay, sorry, sorry about that. That came through loud and clear. No AMD cards on ETC. At the moment, I don't... I have four RX 470s, and they're not mining anything. They're actually turned off over here to my left. I, I'm, I think I'm pretty much phasing out the RX series cards. Um, I want to get my hands on like a Radeon 7 if I can scoop one at the right price. I don't know. I'm just not feeling a lot of AMD stuff. Maybe if I can get one of the 5700s, but... They, they just still aren't compelling enough for me. Anybody know what the RX 5500 gets on ETC? I don't, but um, that's one of the newer cards that I am interested in. The Deadwood Man, go with the 5700 or wait for the 5900. It's on its way. Yeah, for sure, 1050 is too hard to get good hashes. Yeah, 1050 is pretty much like um, just not, not worth it in today's today's market. But if you already have it, go ahead and use it but definitely don't invest in buying oh there's another one um nickman478 five dollars nice to see you back for the crypto boom thoughts on the aeon plaque you commissioned now touring africa uh yeah i saw that um i need to get the video up or get one of the uh, aeon guys to, to talk to me but it looks like the aeon plaque is somewhere in africa because i saw they took a picture with it and in the background there was like zebras and and antelopes like running around so that's pretty cool that plaque has literally been more places than i have <laughs> that thing's been around the world um but yeah uh also endless roots love the content keep up the great thank you brandon billy b i got your live notification on my phone but it didn't show on my pc huh that's weird serpent sf what's up how is everyone i think we're doing pretty good serpent uh let me get through the rest of these cards and i'll catch up on the live chat so 1066 gigs are down 5.8%, making 32 cents a day per card on Ethermine, profiting about 12 cents a day uh, if you were to sell off at a daily daily basis. So that's just kind of in theory because I don't. Um, 1070 Ti stayed pretty much flatlined on NiceHash, 43 cents a day, profiting 12 cents. And the 1080, 8 gig, 49 cents a day, profiting 13 cents. Going down to the RTX 2070 on Kudo actually went up 1.8% doing 56 cents a day, profiting 24 cents a day. And let's see here. Oh, Frankie, two times. Welcome to the live chat. By the way, Nick, thank you for that $5. And Mike, thank you for that $10. Much, much appreciated, bro. Um, let's see here. Da Rizla. What's, what, what? I'm live stream surfing tonight. Well, welcome to the live stream surfing, bro. Dunn says, Nick, man, can I borrow $5 so I can donate to Brandon Coin? Uh, Blazing Bob Childress. What's up, man? I haven't seen that name in a while. 61 mega hash is more than two 570s. That's crazy. Nefarious Technology. Yo, yo, Savage Mind. Welcome to the live stream. By the way, guys, Savage Mind was just live before he got on here. So check out his channel. It's just Savage Mind, S A V A G E M I N E, on YouTube. He goes live like more than me, like every day. So. Frankie two times. What's your electric now in the new place? My electric is uh, in the, I believe in the winter time, it went to 10 cents per kilowatt. Da Rizla, just subscribe. Welcome to the family, man. Um, and Da Rizla, when this video gets posted, I don't think it's down below right now. You can check an older video. Click on the Discord link. Join over there. We got a good group of guys in the Discord. Um, always chilling and hanging. My electric in the new place is pretty much the same as it was before. I have the same power company. I think in the wintertime, it's uh, 10 cents per kilowatt hour. In the summertime, it goes to 11 cents or like 10.9. So I always pretty much just call it 10 cents a kilowatt hour. Um, let's see here. Savage Mine. Serpent. Savage Mine sent us. I am hopefully going to grab the new AMD RX 5600, but might wait till quarter two for NVIDIA's cards. I saw the leaks, but it's a grain of salt. I know. I hate that thing. It's like you're always waiting for the next card. Like, oh, the next card's going to be so much more profitable. The next card, the next card. And if you always are waiting on the next card, you'll never have anything. So, yeah. Um, Mike, hit those likes. Appreciate it. Savage Mine. Nefarious Technology. Let's see here. The 5600 going to be the 275 to $300 option. Probably. Frankie, two times. Thank you for that Discord link. Any of the new guys that want to join the Discord, 
We have a fairly active voice chat in our Discord pretty much every night, uh, Eastern Standard Time of the evening. Yo, bro, give me some. All right, what are we giving? All right, now let's check out the market before we go on and check out a little bit of mining news, and then we'll uh, do the daily giveaway. Uh, Bitcoin, let me get a, a refresh on this right now so it's, it's live action. Bitcoin's in number one spot where it always needs to be, and uh, if it ain't, then that's, that's going to be news. So $8,662. Uh, dominance is at 65.8%. Uh, holding up number two spot is Ethereum, $167.53. Rounding out the podium, top three, uh, XRP is at $0.23, cents, up 3% over the last 24 hours. So XRP, boys. Um, going down the list, Litecoin's in seventh position at $57.69. Uh, and dropping all the way down, Stellar is holding up the top 10 position at $0.62, cents, up 3.9% over the last 24 hours. Trailing not too far behind is Monero at $65.32. It's been a solid competitor these last couple weeks, so don't be don't be sleeping on Monero. Monero's uh that's my boy right there. I don't know I don't know why, but it is. Uh, further down the list, a good competitor has showed a lot of heart this season. Um, had some big losses, but also some big gains. And Ethereum Classics, what I'm talking about, 15th position. He's running $8.88. At 6.25% gain in the last 24 hours. All right, guys. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Done one too many said. I missed it. What did, what did he say? I can't read it. Where'd it go? Why can't I see it? Hold on. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, done one too many. Thank you for the $5 donation. And he said, Mr. Nickman sent me... 69 billion 69 million 60 hundred and ninety thousand mbc so that i could donate you five dollars he demand okay y'all doing that mbc to usd conversion i see i see what's going on over there um all right the rizla i was talking to someone last night about that you guys get gouged in canada on new cards um, Batman donated $25. Hot damn diggity dog. Batman, what are you, what's going on? What, hold on, my, my dog. What, Jenny, what's going on? Batman, thank you for the $5. Done, or I mean, Batman, thank you for the $25. Done, thank you for the $5. Um, Nick, thank you for the 5 And Mike, thank you for the 10 I just wanted to make sure that I thanked everybody there. Um, very gracious. Oh my goodness, Jenny. Jenny, give me a break. Give me a break. We're live right now. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Here, just calm down. Calm down. Just stay right here while I read this. Okay. So now going further down the list, we got Zcash in 26th position at $53.61. 6% gain over the last 24 hours. Oh my goodness, Jenny. Okay. Um, what else? Basic attention token. 22 cents. All right, I got to let her out, guys. I got to let her out. She's driving me crazy. All right, uh, basic attention token, 22 cents. And, um, oh, this is this is pretty correct for the time right now. We got Dogecoin, because there's a big Doge right here in my lap um, at uh, two-tenths of a penny. Let's let's go further down. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, Bitcoin gold, $11.41. Ravencoin, 41st position. It's moving up a little bit. 2.6 cents. Uh, Bitcoin Diamond, 45th position, 60 cents. What's some other ones? Zen or Horizon, since it was uh, renamed a while back, $11. Uh, any big gainers, though? Let's see. Let's see. We had some big boys moving around. Ooh, Steam up 9%. Digi X Dow, 15%. I don't know what's going on there. Here, hop down. Hop down. Ugh. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Um, engine coin, isn't that like it? Wait, engine isn't that the company that did like Jurassic Park or like was making dinosaurs? Um, Z coin five dollars 23 cents. Uh, Electronium, look at that! Electronium in the top 100. Hot damn! All right, so that pretty much that rounds that out. Let's see here. Uh, Jenny makes the channel what it is. <laughs> 
You need a couch for the dog to lay on. Look, I have, I have this huge dog bed right here, and she lays right behind me, Ugh. all day long. <laughs> I got dog hair in my mouth. Okay, so she, she, I know, I do need to get her a little couch. Maybe like right over there by the Bitcoin accepted the door. I don't really go in. That's my closet. I don't go in there that much. Um, y'all remember when Doge was like half a cent? That's been a while. Me and Jenny are like peas and carrots. All right. Okay. So I wanted to um, kind of follow up our little bit of, I kind of wanted this to be the new structure. In the beginning, I talk about just straight like crypto news, what's at the top of the, the like trending. And then after we go over what the what cards are making and also look at the market, then we're going to talk about what's at the top of mining news, like mining specific news. So Crypto news and then hit you up with the one, two, crypto, then mining. All right, and apparently Fidelity is hiring Bitcoin mining engineer to scale its operations. I'm right here, Fidelity. You could just you send me an email, brandoncoin1201 <coughs> at gmail.com. Um, All right, here, let me, let me let you out. Go. Okay. Whew. Whoa. Oh, what's up, Booster Bros? All right, so yeah, Fidelity is mining or uh, uh, hiring a Bitcoin mining engineer to scale its operations. Uh, I didn't even know Fid Fidelity was mining anything. So apparently, Fidelity is seeking a Bitcoin mining engineer. Uh, the role is to help design, build, and maintain infrastructure for its Bitcoin mining operations. Fidelity started mining Bitcoin and Ether in 2014. Dang, Fidelity is probably doing good if they're started in 2014. Asset management giant Fidelity worth over seven trillion in client assets is seeking a Bitcoin engineer. I've, I've repeated that like five times. According to a job posting on its website, Fidelity is hiring for the role to help design, build, maintain the infrastructure to run and scale its Bitcoin mining operations. The role requires candidates to have three to five or more years of experience in DevOps development operations, engineering, knowledge of databases such as SQL and MongoDB is also required among other expertise. Well, I don't have pretty much any of that, but um, I got heart, guys. Fidelity, all right? Uh, the job posting was published on Fidelity's website last month and on LinkedIn last week. The block has reached out to Fidelity to know more about the role and will update this story if we hear back. Fidelity began mining Bitcoin and Ether in 2014 and is reportedly uh, its profitable venture. Okay, yeah. In 2017, Abigail Johnson, CEO of Fidelity, said that the company started mining for educational purpose, purposes, but now makes good money out of it. We set up a small Bitcoin Ethereum mining operation that miraculously now is actually making a lot of money. Yeah, if you were mining in 2014 and then when 2017 hit, up, it's like just flip the table over and cash out, right? Boy looking thick. Always always thick, man. XXX, yo, worth buying some 1070 to make some free cash. Uh, ain't nothing free about it, man. Brandon Coin, mine, did that to me on my last stream. Wanted in, then wanted out. I know, I can't never keep her happy. It's that uneven fan. What's the uneven fan? They have a position listed all over the U.S. right now for a manager of Bitcoin. So how's your new dune buggy? I don't, I don't have a dune buggy. What OS get it down to 90, 89 watts? Oh, you're talking about, you're talking to somebody else. Worth buying like two 1070s to make some free cash, triple X. Um, it's definitely not going to be free. And I, you, if you're talking about mining on 1070s, and turning a profit in any time less than a year, I don't, I don't suggest it. But now, if you're gonna buy them and have very low expectations, um, and kind of like a little bit of a gamble, a little bit of a fun adventure, then yeah, get some ten seventies. But um, if you're, if you're like, I need to make money, I gotta make my money back. Don't do it. Definitely don't do it. So yeah, boom, fidelity. Look at that. Oh my God, guys, that's Illuminati right there. Do, 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 do. So no green candle tonight. I have my I have my red candle. I don't know what, I ha what happened to my green candle. I had it right here. I think it got legs. I I might need to get me a new green candle. 
Start burning my candles again. What do you suggest, Kudo or Nice Hash? Well, I'm using Kudo and I'm using Nice Hash and I'm also direct mining, depending on what cards. Uh, I use Kudo on my actual main rig uh, that I suggest it, especially if you're getting started and you have uh, one graphics card, maybe two. Um, their software gets a little wonky if you have like a bunch of graphics cards that are all mixed up, but then also Nice Hashes sometimes gets wonky too. But nice hash seems to handle multiple graphics cards better. Uh, and then if you know exactly what you want to mine, go ahead and just direct mine it if you want to. You know, yeah. So I, I kind of go in that order depending on what you're using. Bam. All right, guys. So um, green day, but didn't see the candles all. Yeah, sorry, I haven't been doing the candle thing since I got back. I need to get me some candles. Up day, regular Mountain Dew, down day, code red. Ah, Foo Fighter, that's a that's a good idea. That's and, and actually a matter of fact, hold on. Hold on. Let's see here. Not sponsored by, but definitely will take a sponsorship from since it's a green day. We got us a little baby Mountain Dew. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, cracking cracking a fresh dew for the for the greenness. Yep. That's good. That's good. Okay. Yep. Now let's um let's continue onwards. Let's finish out this show. Uh, we're getting it getting to the end. So I'm going to draw um, the winner that commented on the last video or the last live stream. Um, pa, 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 pa. I think I asked people what was their favorite uh, fruit. Oh look at that! Look at th guys. All right. So there was four comments. Three of them had their Bitcoin address. Oh no, four of them did. So I said, what was your favorite food? Maybe fruit, I don't know, favorite food. We got avocados, Oreos, Ho-Hos, and blue. And he was saying 19 mega hash on a 1660. My 1660 Ti runs 28 to 29. Yeah, 1660 does not, not cut the sauce like a Ti does on a on ETH hash, definitely. So guys, the this is 25% win rate right here for everybody that's entered. If you don't know how to get entered, once this live stream gets posted as a video, all you got to do is go back and comment your Bitcoin address. And then for this one, also tell me, um, I want to know, I want to know something serious like, uh, uh, what's your nickname? And if you don't have a nickname, I want you to make one up. So tell me what your nickname is and then put your Bitcoin address, comment down below. You have an awesome chance of winning five bucks. So uh, I'm going to take this, I'm going to copy it. We're going to go to the random comment picker. Boom. Get to YouTube comments. There's four unique commenters and now start the raffle. Ba 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 ba. You get 26 mega hash? I need to, maybe I need to check on mine. Um, so the winner was Brian Bio Champ. He likes avocados. Wait, since I don't like them, I wouldn't be tempted to eat them. Okay, so he doesn't like avocados. Let me get his Bitcoin address and go ahead and send him uh, $5 of Bitcoin over. By the way, guys, we got sent over more Satoshis to give away from the Mystery Man. So give a big shout out to the Mystery Man. We're doing a daily giveaway, or well, two daily giveaways at the end of every live stream. We're doing one from the previous day's live stream from the comment section that I just told you how, how to enter. And then we're also doing one from the actual live chat. So everybody right now, um, yeah, it's actually daily, uh, Monday through Thursday, daily, not weekly. So everybody right now, go ahead and post up your Bitcoin address in the live chat. Please only post it one time and uh, we'll draw an actual winner from the live chat before the end of the video. Um, but let me, um, let me get Coinbase open over here off camera and send him the Satoshis while y'all are getting uh, your Bitcoin addresses in there. Da, 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 port. Send Bitcoin address, paste, $5. Winner, continue. Uh, there's, um, the network fee is 13 cents, so um, network traffic must be down today. That's That's kind of interesting. Hmm. Um, 
one up. Got my seven factor authentication. Boom. And let me uh, crop this out and just show you guys that uh, I did it and I sent it and it's on the way. Bam. All right. Your transaction is on the way. $5.13. The 13 cents was the network fee to get that $5 sent over to your boy Brian Be a Champ. So congratulations, Brian. Um, where did where did my screen go? There it is. Okay. So uh, we're gonna do our drawing at we'll say 10 30 p.m. So that gives another six minutes while I go ahead and enter all these in a uh, Google Sheets. Let me get a fresh fresh spread spreadsheet up here fresh uh, there we go da, 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 um, bam 20 okay so starting from the top um bitcoin jake it was one food item on an island but you can eat it oh, okay bitcoin jake thank you yeah i don't even remember the question i asked ah da, da, da. Okay, so Bitcoin Jake was the first to drop the address, his address, so we'll put him in there. This guy's on the grind, there we go. Ronus420. Ronus420. Chuck Geo87. Chris from New Mexico. What's up, Chris from New Mexico? I have not seen your name in here. Blazing Bob Childress, Mr. Food Fighters in for five, a free five dollars. Serpent, Mr. Serpent XSF Ace K. That one didn't go through, right? Ace K. Sneeds, nineteen sixty-seven. Mr. XDGX Diamonds. Billy B. I got a couple tonight. How many how many more are, is there? Shane Henry. Oh, there's Jenny barking. She probably has to go back outside. Frankie two times. Red Panda Mine. Oh, you didn't put it in there. My address is weird. Da Rizla. I think we're going to have like right at 20 tonight. Phaeton. Nick said, I really hope that I can win this for my friend Bill. He wants to get into crypto more, but is very afraid of it. I hope you do win it for Bill. Mike's Junk, double zero. <laughs> All right, Mike's Junk, double zero. Let me back this off a little bit. Ah, oh, Jay Bohannon. What's up, man? Welcome. Welcome to the live stream. Nice to see you again. Uh, let's see what else. Orangutan just turned on. What have I missed? You missed the whole show. We're doing the live stream giveaway where all you got to do is post your Bitcoin address in the live chat. And we're giving away $5 daily courtesy of the Mystery Man. So, yeah, make sure to thank the Mystery Man. Um, and we also do a giveaway off the, the comment section. I'll explain that later. Uh, cause I, I already did for most people. Oh, there's high tech. So we got three more minutes for you to post your Bitcoin address in the live chat. And then we're going to do the drawing crypto Pope. Hey, Brandon, what's up, man? Welcome back. Crypto Pope. Hope you're doing good. It's, if it's easier, you can just say diamond or diamond pickaxe. Gotcha. Appreciate it. Blazing Bob. I got yours. The Deadwood 11. I'm always, always forgetting the Deadwood 11. Savage Mind, smash the like. Thank you, Savage Mind. Oh, what's up, Mike? Gotta get Mike in the list. Boom, we got 22 so far. Um, SF, love the channel and your content, bro. Keep your, your grinding. Appreciate it, man. Oh, Crypto Mikel. Gotta get you in there before we, uh, we pull that winner. Let me back this off to 125%. We have 23 people. I think that's the most we've had so far. Batman says, thanks, mystery man. <laughs> we don't even have you on the list yet, Batman. Post your Bitcoin address. Orangutan, thanks for the explanation. 
no problem orangutan um if you want to though i'll i'll explain the the comment drawing after this um so that way you can be entered in for tomorrow's and then also we do a live giveaway monday through thursday 10 p.m eastern standard time at the end of every live stream so yeah all courtesy of the mystery man i need to do like a like a like a graphic for him like he's got like a cape like blow in the background a black hood and a bitcoin symbol on his chest uh, da, 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 da. Oh, there, there's Manrique Daniel Mar Delmar Perez. What's up, bro? Welcome to the live chat. Batman, what's Bitcoin? Ah, uh, trying to smash those like absolutely, Foo Fighter. Okay, we're one minute away. I did not forget you, man. I got you in there at the last second, Daniel. So ten thirty, we're gonna do a drawing from. 1 to 24, that'll tell us our winner, winner and we're going to pick up the uh, random number generator. Google's random number generator. The Deadwood 11, I'm Batman. Whoa. Is the Deadwood 11 Batman? How are you on two computers at the same time? Phone and then laptop, is that what it is? Is that the same thing? 1 through 24 is going to be our drawing. 1 through 24. Crafty 2 was immersed in an intense game of Minecraft. Missed the beginning here. Oh, Crafty 2, man. I, I'm sorry you missed the stream, but I'll show you how to be entered into the next drawing. Because it's 1030, and we're going to draw one of these gentlemen's right here to win $5 of Satoshis. I'm going to say it in Satoshi value after this because it sounds more impressive. Number 17. All right, guys. Who was number 17? Mike's Junk Double Zero. So Mike Mike's Junk just won today's $5 live giveaway. Let me find his Bitcoin address and go ahead and send that off. So Mr. Junk, Mr. Mike's Junk, I hope you're feeling uh, lucky because your junk is lucky. Uh, da -da -da -da. Send. Boom. $5. That comes out to five thousand seven hundred and wait, fifty thousand fifty seven thousand eight hundred Satoshis. Is that it? Five yeah, five dollars. Winner. Continue. Two step. Do the two step. Do the two yeah. Uh boom. Guys, am I not am I the only one that uses Coinbase and when I get two step authentication it sends me like six text messages is that is that not the only thing and then sometimes it'll want me an email authentication like why uh it was 12 cents on that one let me get that up boom sent bitcoin to mr mike's junk double zero he was the winner um five dollars 12 cents or 59,301 Satoshis. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. The fee was 1,501 Satoshis. So, congratulations. Let me get back to that live screen. Where are we at? Where are we at? Um, wow, congrats to your junk. Yeah. Today is a fun day to type. 0 1 20, 20. Oh, yeah, it is. 1 2020. 20. Last time we're going to be able to do that one. I have not won a single giveaway off YouTube. The Deadwood 11, but you can if, eventually. I don't know. It's random, so I, I can't make you win. But eventually, it, it's just got to happen. So now if you want to be entered into the next comment draw, which we do a comment draw and we do a live every single day at the end of the day. So after this video goes gets reposted, it gets published is what it's called to YouTube as like a video and not a live stream. Just comment down below, and what did we want to, what, oh, tell me your nickname, and post your Bitcoin address in the comment section, and uh, we'll draw that tomorrow. Yeah. 20 TI, T, 2080 Ti are bad arse cards. Yes, they are. Probably be cheaper to uh, only get two e email notifications, but yeah. Yeah, man, the YouTube notification system is very, very weak. I still... I still feel crypto has not exploited the new GPUs. I don't know. I don't know. Ba 
up, 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 up. I had something else I wanted to talk about. What was it? I don't remember. I think I have been through about a hundred so far. You've been in a hundred giveaways and have not won a single one. You're due any day now. Oh, that's what I want to talk about. So, guys, if you're interested in playing a video game and potentially winning uh, some Bitcoin, um, a friend of mine, actually, he's a moderator in here, uh, Bitcoin Jake. Bitcoin Jake, are you here? Uh, Bitcoin Jake has been coding and is running a uh, Minecraft server. Da Rizla, have you checked out the new 1660s? <laughs> you need to find a new way to tickle the bot. Yeah, but anyway, uh, Bitcoin Jake is running a Satoshi Quest. It is a Minecraft server where you can you link your Bitcoin wallet to it. Um, when you first log in, you get a free life. But essentially, it's a vanilla survival server that it's PvP enabled. Um, when you get in, you get placed into like a little holding area. Um, once you redeem your life or you get one life free so you can go off of there. But you're searching for a treasure chest. In that treasure chest is um, the pot. And the pot gets replenished and also um, gets built up by people buying lives. So after your first live goes away, to get to respawn, well, you'll respawn automatically, but to get off of that little holding area and go search again, you have to pay a dollar, whatever a dollar is in Bitcoin at the time. So you link your wallet, you send it to the pot's address or the pot's wallet. Um, all the information is here. I will put this link in the live chat. I'm going to do a... Um, maybe a little video series playing this i'm not necessarily so much for searching for the actual thing but uh, i kind of want to play some vanilla minecraft and then kind of maybe kill some other people uh just to get the satisfaction of like you know pvp and I, I like pvp but you don't get any money for killing other people but if other people kill you then you got to pay a dollar to get back in so you definitely want to be geared up a little bit and um uh, definitely don't willy-nilly go around and just dying all the time. So it's kind of like playing like hardcore Minecraft. Like if you die, it costs money. But that money goes into the pot that you could potentially win. So if you get close enough to the chest, the chest will not be underground. They're always on a top block. So they could be on top of a tree, uh, but they have big golden pillars around them. And when you get anywhere close to them, I think it's, yeah, I don't know, a certain amount of, of blocks close to them. It'll send a notification to everybody on the server and it'll tell you the, the coordinates where that person is, not where the chest is. So that way you can go run after that person, try to kill them, and you're at least you're close by to wherever the, uh, the pot is. Bitcoin Jake says, someone's near the loot right now. I'm trying to find and kill them right now. You know what? Let me just fire this up real quick, see if I can. Um, yeah, I guess you guys don't mind. Shane, how's the garage setup going? I have absolutely re like changed the whole garage setup um, due to uh, issues. Uh, so I'll, 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 I'm gonna do a video and update you guys on what's going on. Basically, I did a very summer setup build at the end of summer, uh, so it was kind of pointless. And now I'm kind of changing everything around to do like a more winter setup. There's no SSL cert. I have no idea about that. Bitcoin Jake, Diamond has a, a question there about the SSL certification. Um, I'm going to jump. There's three people online on Satoshi Quest right now, and somebody's close to the pot. Let's see what the pot is, and uh, let's see what's going on with it before we end this live stream. I'm waiting for somebody to use the Tensor Cores also. Encrypting, what does that mean? And why is it taking so long? Joining world. Where am I? Okay, okay, there I am. Oh, okay, so, oh, hold on, hold on. It's my, um, my face is in the way. Let me move that. Okay. So now, see it? It says right uh, over to the right, Satoshi Quest, Old School Gamer X. That's the username. And he's at those coordinates. And that means he is close to the actual, the, the pot. Um, yeah. So how do I bring up how much the pot was? I, I know there was, oh, that's a screenshot. Oh, oh, that's not it. Boom. 
Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna jump off here, guys. I'll probably be on Discord here in a second, but I gotta go let my dog out because I, I can hear she's going crazy running up and down the stairs. Um, but yeah, old school gamer X, I, I guess, I think the pot was around like 10 bucks worth of Bitcoin last time I checked. So yeah, um, I think it's regular difficulty, but if you die, you have to buy a life, which is a dollar. So it's kind of like regular, but hardcore because there's money involved. But um, yeah, uh, yeah, I will be back. So guys, thank you for that. <laughs> old school gamer X. No, he doesn't. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Remember, be back 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, not Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. So Monday through Thursday. Thank you, guys. Peace.